Okay, there is a new feature in the game. Uh, it's a store feature, so, um, you know, let's not get too excited, but it's pretty cool. Hot drops. Pro tip. Now, till February 6th, hit your hot drops in the store tab for discounted offers selected just for you. So, apparently, it's like a personalized store. And the items inside depend on what you use the most. So, I'm quite excited to see what will happen when we click this button. Okay, my first hot drop. This is actually kind of fun. Kind of reminds me of, uh, is it like the uh, Valorant system? I don't know. Okay, my first hot drop. I'm really curious to see what you guys get as well. So let me know in, in the uh, comments. First hot drop. Emerald Enchantress Wraith skin. Okay, 1,000 Apex coins for that. That's pretty cool. Wait, I didn't even know this was a skin. It's got skins that you don't currently have available, which is really, really cool. I do like that feature. Uh, this is like a recolor of one of the Wraith Halloween skins. I honestly had no idea I didn't have this. Okay, number two. Here we go. Fuse Festive Decor. 500 for an epic. Um, not the best. It's a shame to get an epic in here, to be honest. Now, it's really interesting because I have almost every item in the game. I'm pretty sure I have every Rampart skin. But, um, you know, Rampart's my most played legend. Fuse, I don't play much, so uh, interesting choice. Okay, next one. Hopefully it's another legendary here. Royal Livery Bundle. Huh. I do not have this Bloodhound skin. And I don't have this banner. I wonder how it works. Discount based on the regular price of items sold in the same rarity tier. Interesting. Okay. Uh, okay, next one, next one, next one. Whatever we get here, we'll choose one item and we'll go in with that. Okay, here we go. Five pack. Oh, look at that. Wait, a five pack for 200 Apex coins? I mean, I may as well. I'm like so close to getting the, uh, the um, heirloom, the Buster Sword. Wait, has it ended? Oh, no. Maybe it did end. Oh, well, if it did, not a big deal. Uh, I'm so close to almost getting it for free, sort of. Here we go. Fifth pack. Revenant from the Deep Skin. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, the Wraith one's the best here, so I think we're going to go for that. That's a pretty cool system. Now, I believe if you change this and go back here, it doesn't change. Yes. All right, the event's still here. Whew. Okay, that's lucky. So, I now have 700 crafting, okay? And also, almost enough to buy this pack. So... The goal is to try and get this for free, almost. I spent about 8,000 Apex coins, so I'm pretty happy about that. I wasn't going to get it originally, but, um, you know, I've only been getting free items. So because I, like, this is a perfect example, because I get legendary crafting metals from packs, because I have all items in the game, uh, besides the ones that are only available in the store, like these, we uh, can then get enough crafting to open a pack with crafting metals. And then there's a 20% chance to get legendary in this again, which is more legendary shards. And there we got it. We just got more legendary shards. So now we are halfway there to getting this final pack. We have three more packs. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of weird how um, it ends up being far cheaper uh as a sort of player with all the items unlocked uh than a normal collection event weirdly enough weirdly enough i was not expecting that okay let's see we now have um all right not quite enough we have 800 apex coins i don't want to spend any apex coins on these packs itself we are one pack away i think i need how much i need 600 points i believe so that is 750 damage five kills and assists so let's try and do that in one game on control with this new wraith skin that i got and i'm really curious what you players will get let me know i haven't been playing much apex i've actually been playing pal world a bunch i've got a new pal world channel uh so if you do want to check that out well it's not a new channel it's my uh survival channel but there's going to be tons of pal world content already a bunch of stuff there focusing on like really high level fun gameplay challenges thinking about starting a nuzlocke challenge in pal world i've got a few other ideas on the way but i'll pick put a link to that in the description 
end at the end of this uh, video as well. Yeah, let's try and get this 600 points to get this essentially sort of free Buster Sword. This is quite a cool feature, to, to be honest. I like this, and I hope they do it more often, because there are definitely some items that we've all missed that we'd all like to get our hands on. I guess there's literally no Rampart items in the game that I haven't got, which would make sense. But a few Wraith skins that I'm missing, so pretty cool. Now, I don't know how I'm going to play. It has been a minute honestly i um just want to say the apex content is not going anywhere i'm uh, kind of just waiting for the new season because there's not much going on right now who be honest boys to be honest is the settings right um yeah the goal is uh just to chill post a little bit of apex content but not overwork myself and then when the new se season comes along hello speaking of people coming along um we will then post a bunch of best content but yeah right now i'm going all in on finals content it's nice oh okay i mean what we need um uh 750 damage not much i really really like this new kill cam feature by the way really oh, what the? that's weird really nice way to practice for sure but, uh yeah you know i talked a lot about how i'm not getting the buster sword event i don't want to spend money on it it's overpriced and i still feel that way but um Little did I know that each pack would literally give me legendary crafting metals to buy half the next pack. Almost. You know? Oh dear. I think it's interesting to say that uh, Apex is in... Oh, hi. An interesting state right now. Where are you? You up there? I think I know what's going on. I think there's some weird weapon sway on or something. I don't know. Here we go. Can I get my first kill here? Everyone is just nuts at this game. What the? Peeking for a second and getting obliterated. I think that's one of the issues with this game. I mean, it's not an issue, but the fact is, as games get older, it becomes less about enjoying it and more about just getting absolutely wrecked. All of these players are like, you wouldn't think that they're, you know, particularly skilled per se, but they're far better than I am. And I've been playing far longer. I just took literally a three day break and now we're suffering. Um, quite an interesting experience that it's this hard just to get a few kills, eh? But we got one. I do wonder how they're going to kind of go about that. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe I just need to get better. Um, surely that's not a possible thing. Like, I guess it's just the nature of shooter games, which is quite why I'm quite enjoying Power World. Like, playing a game which is not about just trying to be competitive 100% of the time and all about your own performance and all that stuff. It's a bit of a nice time to just relax, you know? But, uh, yeah, I do like Apex, don't get me wrong, and it's nice to play. Ah, oh, well, I obviously got beamed there, standing out of the open. How close are we to our challenges here? Uh, we have one elimination, dude. What is going on? Can't believe how absolutely destroyed we are getting. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, it happens. Heal that, heal that. No, come on. I'm not even going to get enough points in this single game. That's how much we are down bad right now. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> we are doing so badly. I, I genuinely can't believe it. This is crazy. We have one kill. We got the damage, but I literally can't get a single kill. 
Can you believe that? He's got the Moby. We're getting absolutely wrecked or something. It feels like it. Everyone just has better aim. What? Well, you know. So, note to self. If you want to even do okay in just a mixtape lobby, you need to play the game 24-7. Oh, wow. Well. To be fair, though, I feel like mixtape players are better than, like, Battle Royale players because they spend time grinding the mechanics out, you know? This is, um... Mixtape players are probably best and to be honest after like a few games we'll get back into the flow of things oh dear oh oh boy okay uh did we get enough kills we might have i think we do no yeah maybe we'll see the way glitch i guess all now we got to do is wait for um season 20 which i'm hoping will be a good one it's the anniversary season, and they're usually pretty good, right? Usually. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, yeah. 40,000 kills. I, I thought this guy, like, everyone in this lobby was uh, level 200 or something. But that makes me feel a little bit better. I'm just in an absolute giga sweat lobby. Makes sense. You know. Is that just whoever's left playing? To be honest, it makes sense. Everyone's playing Power World. There are no people left right now. <laughs> Only the Giga Sweats is still playing Apex, which is quite funny. Oh my god, I just can't even... Hmm. <laughs> I do think it's a bit one-sided, this team. I mean, let's... Yeah. It sometimes happens, to be honest. We are in our base getting absolutely bamboozled. Well, that was a good shot. Chain, we, uh... Also took a lot of damage. Oh, she was so low. I think we have enough, though. Once this game ends. Oh. That was my teammate. Sorry. Apologies. Alright. Wow. Oh, God. It just feels like I'm getting shot from so many people. Yeah, these guys are good. Look at that nice little super glide. Ready? Blam, are we? we? Didn't see it. Yeah, we are getting wrecked. Actually, two of our players are literally quick because they can't stand the heat. Can't stand the heat. No. I see it was pub lobbies, and now ranked, and now even mixtape. <laughs> There's nowhere to just have, chill and have a good time. I go back to Power World. Uh, but I, yeah, I, I will be back in full force in time for season 20. Don't worry. Just good to get a break. I can't really like heal for some reason. Oh, there we go. I heal UI seems to be a bit wobbly. Uh, Alright. Well, that's a nice space behind the... Uh... Oh, the fatigue wall jump. Fair enough. Let's see it, dude. Yeah, that was a decent wall jump. You know, that player is cracked out of their mind and we are getting wrecked. 40,000 kills on the lifeline. You gotta like respect the commitment to that. Oh yeah. Look at the wall. Let's have a look at these players. Aim nuts. Yeah, aim nuts is only a level two 300, but that is one of the best level 300s I've ever seen. The aim is literally nuts. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. If I wasn't so rusty, I would be enjoying this, to be honest. There's some good fights going on, but I'm just... <laughs> I was not prepared in the slightest. I was like, should I play a pub game? And then I'm thinking, ah, you know what? It's fine. We'll, we'll go into a nice little relaxing mixtape game. And, well, the experience was completely the opposite. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. How many headshots was that? Oh, only one. Sounded like a lot more. Okay. Yeah. All right, game over. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy to be out of that. Let's uh, let's get our thing. Let's get our thing. Here we go. All right, eight four five. Um, we have enough. Finally. If you've been watching the streams, you'll know how long I've been like working on this and avoiding 
getting the, um, the, uh, I, d I haven't spent anything, basically, since my video, which is crazy. And then, so how do you get this then? It just becomes immediately available. Okay, well, that was a pretty uh, interesting experience. Um, wait, Royal Livery. Okay, it hasn't updated. That is a shame. Really cool feature, though. I do like it. And I guess um, back to Power World until Season 20. There's a video on screen if you want to check it out. Cheerio.